Congressman Paul, Congressman Paul, you say that President Obama is not uh, too soft on Iran. You say that he is too tough on Iran. I want to put up some of your statements. Sanctions are not diplomacy, you say. They are a precursor to war and an embarrassment to a country that pays lip service to free trade. As for Iran's nuclear ambitions, you wrote this. One can understand why they might want to become nuclear capable if only to defend themselves and to be treated more respectfully. Is that your policy towards Iran? Well, even our own CIA gives me this information that they have no evidence that they're working on a weapon. Just think of what we went through in the Cold War when I was in the Air Force, after I was drafted in the Air Force, all through the 60s. We were, we were standing up against the Soviets. They had like 30,000 nuclear weapons with intercontinental missiles. Just think of the agitation and the worrying of a country that might get a nuclear weapon someday, and just think of how many nuclear weapons surround Iran. The Chinese are there, the Indians are there, the Pakistanis are there, the Israelis are there, the United States is there, all these countries. China has nuclear weapons. Why well, wouldn't it be natural that they might want a weapon? There'd be, internationally, they'd be given more respect. Why should we write people off? There was, you know, in the 50s, we at least talked to them. At least our leaders and Reagan talked to the Soviets. What's so terribly bad about this? In people where, countries that you put sanctions on, you are more likely to fight them. I say a policy of peace is free trade, stay out of their internal business, don't get involved in these wars, and just bring our troops home. Congre Congressman Paul, Congressman Paul, I want to just give you 15 seconds. I want to just make sure I understand. So your policy towards Iran is if they want to develop a nuclear weapon, that's their right. No sanctions. No effort to stop them. No, I think that makes. I think that thing that makes it much worse. Why would that be so strange? If the Soviets and the Chinese have nuclear weapons, we tolerated the Soviets. We didn't attack them, and they were a much greater danger. They were the greatest danger to us in, in our whole history. But you don't go to war against them. I mean, this whole idea of sanctions, all these pretend free traders, they're the ones who put on these trade sanctions. This is why we still don't have trade relationships with Cuba. It's about time we talk to Cuba and still stop fighting these wars that are about 30 or 40 years old. Mr. Mr. Kane. Just, just, uh, Senator Santorum, I got a question for you. Well, I, as the author of the Iran Freedom Support Act, which he is criticizing, because I authored it when I was in the United States sanction, that, the Senate would actually impose sanctions on Iran because of their nuclear program. Iran is not Iceland, Ron. Iran is a country that has been at war with us since 1979. Iran is a country that has killed more American men and women in uniform in, in Iraq and Afghanistan than the Iraqis and the Afghanistans have. Afghanistan has had. The, Ira the Iranians, Why, the Iranians, the Iranians, are, are the existential threat to the state of Israel. You ask the, you ask the Israelis what keeps them up at night. It's the Iranians funding of Hamas and Hezbollah okay. 30, and the support of Syria. 30 seconds. And the reason, hold on, let me finish. No, the no, we, there's, there's, there's there are rules here, sir. Yeah, I know there are rules, and you guys have been giving these guys a lot of time and not a whole lot of you're, time to be, so question, let me answer the you question. You a question coming. Okay. The, the, no, senator, the senator is wrong on his history. We've been at war in, in, in uh, Iran for a lot longer than 79. We started it in 1953 when we sent in a coup, installed the Shah, and the reaction, the uh, blowback came in 1979. It's been going on and on because we just plain don't mind our own business. That's our problem. <laughs>